Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Apex Legends video. I hope you're all having an amazing day so far. And today I just want to go ahead and give you my tips on how to become a smarter player here in Apex Legends. So, you know, go ahead and smash that like button for me right now. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you're new here to my channel and you want to see more of this type of content, I do try uploading daily Apex Legends videos here on my channel. So, you know, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to stick around. And yeah, uh, let's just get right into it. So the first tip that I got for you guys is learn from your mistakes. You're not going to get better at all if you don't reflect and look back at your mistakes. You need to think of ways on how you could have made it out to the situation alive and what error needs to be fixed for next time. I 100% promise you that if you don't learn from your mistakes, you're going to remain the same player making the same error each and every time. For example, like uh, if I die because I gave up high ground and lose a very, very, very easy one 1v1 situation, I'm going to definitely make sure that I reflect on it and not make that same silly mistake again. It's all about correcting the errors and finding ways on how to improve when a similar situation happens in the future. So obviously you can prevent it and just, you know, make better plays for the future. So after you make that a habit, uh, my second tip is discipline. You have to know when to hold yourself back or set yourself free. If you get someone to the point where they're one shot and you know for a fact that their team isn't around, you should 100% set yourself free and go finish them off, you know? But what I mean by holding yourself back is if your opponent runs behind their squad after you damaged them, you should definitely not go for it and put yourself in a very sticky situation. Yeah, you can chase them down and knock them down, but it won't be worth it if you're all of a sudden in a 2v1 situation. It's obviously not going to go well. The odds are against you and you are one, you know, probably most likely going to get knocked down. So, but that is why it is a huge thing to hit your shots, knock your opponent as fast as you can. Uh, but it'll all come easy to you. You know, it takes practice. You have to have discipline. Which brings me over to my third tip, and you have to remember you have two guns. There are a bunch of people that tend to forget that they have two guns while in the middle of a gunfight. It's obvious the less damage you take, the better, and if you're reloading your primary gun in front of your opponent, you're hurting no one but yourself, and you're for sure going to take a lot of damage, which may lead to you getting knocked. Um, if you're rocking, let's say, a Havoc and an R99, but you miss half of your Havoc shots, whip out the R99 and finish him off. Literally every second in this game matters, so don't waste time by reloading in front of the bad guy. You know, don't do the dirty work for him, don't make it easy for him, just whip out your second gun and just completely melt him. Which then brings me over to my fourth tip, and that's use the environment around you. You have to know what's around you and use it to your advantage. If you're in a 1v1 fight in the middle of a field with just a rock by your side, go hug that rock and use it as cover. Like I said, take advantage of the opportunity and outsmart your opponent so that you're able to win the gunfight no matter what. Uh, I, know, <laughs> I know I said to whip out your second gun instead of reloading, but if you have a truck in front of you, use it as a shield and reload your R99 rather than pulling out a longbow or a G7 scout, you know, uh, in a close range fight. Obviously, it is way better to have an R99 or a Peacekeeper than those guns, those type of guns, you know, sniper rifles in a close range fight. So, yeah, that's my fourth tip. Just use the environment around you. Always be a step ahead of your opponent, you know, outsmart them and do whatever is necessary to just win the gunfight, obviously. You can even use a skinny ass tree in this game to use, you know, use it as cover. You can use, you can literally use anything in this game. So that is extremely important. Use environment around you to win any type of gunfight in this game. And lastly, my fifth and final tip on how to become a smarter player here in Apex Legends is always get a better position. You can completely throw off the enemy if you jump on top of a box and just rain bullets down on them. This definitely requires very quick thinking though. But that's, you know, that's just what Apex Legends is all about. And that's why I love this game so much. Uh, I have faith on how fast I can make decisions and just completely destroy my opponent. 
and so can you but you need to practice 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 so you know try it out for yourself and get better at repositioning so that the gunfight goes down the way you want it to go down you know don't let the gunfight go down the way your enemy wants it to go down don't make it easy for them don't do the dirty work for them remember to strafe left and right you know just do all types of movements take advantage of the movements in this game you know going left and right in a circular motion or just jumping up and down uh, and like I said, just always get a better position on your po on your opponent. But yeah, like I said, those are my tips on how to become a smarter player here in Apex Legends. You know, I'm not sitting here and saying I'm the freaking greatest at this game, but uh, I do have a bunch of experience. I have 10,000 kills with Lifeline and uh, 500 Season 1 wins. So, you know, I know what it takes to just win gunfights and just outsmart your opponents and just take your game to a whole nother level. You know, like I said... I, I try my absolute best to learn from my mistakes and just see what I can improve on to just up my game and always be one step ahead of my opponent. So yeah man, I just really hope you guys enjoy these tips. I love doing these tips videos and just trying to help you guys out. Whether it's tips videos or just gameplay videos, whether I'm getting 15 solo kills or 18 solo kills, I just love uploading content and just sharing it with you guys and just all the support you guys show me is just incredible. So thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, like I said, please don't forget to hit that like button. It only takes half a second. And if you're new here to my channel, hit that subscribe button if you want to stick around. I try uploading daily Apex Legends videos here on my channel. So with that being said, like I said, thank you guys so much and I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace. Thank you.